Senator Lee Rhiannon has failed to win pre-selection as the Greens' lead candidate for New South Wales at the next federal election, in what appears to be a significant shift in direction for the party. Rhiannon will now be under intense pressure to step down early to ensure the successful top-placed candidate, NSW Legislative Council member Dr. Maureen Faruqi, can run as an incumbent at the next election. Faruqi beat out Rhiannon and two other candidates vying for the number one ticket spot on the Greens' NSW Senate ticket. She received 1301 votes compared with Rhiannon's 843, delivering her 60.7% of the vote after the distribution of preferences. Rhiannon belonged to the faction derided as the watermelon greens green on the outside but red on the inside. She and her fellow travelers in the party were accused by some of being communists. However, Rhiannon was also a tireless worker and was a leading advocate of greater transparency on political donations. As a state MP she worked hard to expose corruption. This year she was banned for a period from attending party room meetings in Canberra after all nine of her colleagues, including Greens leader Richard Dean Natale, complained she had derailed the party's negotiations on schools funding. Some may see this result as a success for those who denigrated myself and the political tradition of the Greens NSW so blatantly in the main media, she said in a statement on Saturday. Some members may see my defeat as a setback for a member driven party and one committed to the radical transformative policies we need if we are to stop climate change and to create a more equal society. However, I have been heartened by the strong support I have received from across the state for this vision of the Greens. Faruqi, who is part of the more moderate Greens, said she was honored that Greens NSW members had selected her. I've worked alongside Lee since I took up my role in NSW Parliament and pay tribute to Lee for all the work she's done for the party in progressive politics. I really look forward to building on this legacy of the NSW Greens. It is inspiring that so many of you share my vision for a bigger and more diverse party which stands ready to take on the challenges of climate change, economic inequality and neoliberalism, she said. I'm looking forward to making history and representing the Greens as the first Muslim woman in the Australian Senate, she added. Senior party figures hope this will bring to an end the infighting within the NSW Greens. The war is over, said one senior member. Marine is the unity candidate, he added.